Greetings. First in homework review for the AP Physics. We're using Cernway and Fawn, and I think we're using a fourth edition. Uh, yeah, the fourth edition. So if anybody else is watching this, you probably won't. Uh, the thing they tend to do when they go from one edition to another is add or change some of the question numbers, just so that in colleges, when they say do problem four, you got to know you got problem four. They sell more books. At any rate, uh, uh, question one in dimensional analysis. Uh, blah blah blah. You've got the questions in front of you. Does v squared equal a times x dimensionally? So the question is, does v squared, which is basically something times something, v, is that equal to a times x? And is it possible that v, a, and x could all have the same unit? And if that's true, then does the equation work dimensionally? Do all the units work? Does v unit times v unit equal a unit times x unit? The answer is in the back of the book. Uh, question three, a little tricky. Uh, it's asking you to understand this equation. A is equal to F divided by M. Acceleration is force divided by mass. Very common uh, unit. Now, we haven't covered force. We haven't covered acceleration. However, in your book on page seven, table 1.5 gives you the dimensions of acceleration. So you would have to go there you would find the dimensions of acceleration are meters per second squared. That's meters per second squared. So that would be units of length divided by time squared. And then when you're done, in order to solve the problem, you really got to uh, do the algebra until you come up with F is equal to M times A. Do the algebra, so F equals MA. So that gives you the units of force in mass and acceleration. Uh, so mass would be units of mass. Acceleration would be units of uh, uh, length divided by time squared. And then by putting them all together, you'd become up, able to become up with the units of force in terms of the fundamental units.